hello and welcome to the fifth installment of the Zelda Mode series with me, Fake Dr. Levin. At this point, we've gone over a bunch of different modes to be specific. We did Lydian, we did Phrygian, Mixolydian, and Dorian. And now I'd like to talk about a concept where you take each of those modes and you kind of mix them together. So, as you study modes more and more, you'll realize that each mode sounds the way it sounds because of one distinct characteristic note that really brings it out and separates it from your regular minor or regular major. And sometimes, in one piece of music, you'll go through multiple modes in a short amount of time. And Song of Storms from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is one of the most popular melodies from that game, is a perfect example of a piece that uses multiple modes. Song of Storms starts out in D Dorian. Now D Dorian is just like D natural minor except the sixth note is raised up a half step. So here is D natural minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dorian is one, two, three, four, five, six, raise six. So the opening chords of Song of Storms have this note, which is a B, this sixth note, they have it up here in the second chord. So it starts out on a D minor 7, then it goes up to E minor 7, and that has that natural sixth in it, so we're in Dorian. So it's just like natural minor, but with a raised six. But then, during the melody, you start seeing this note. And this note is B flat. That's the flat six. That's the six that you'd find in the natural minor scale. So at this point in the melody, we're actually in natural minor. So the beginning is Dorian. then, once the melody starts, we have B-flat. So that B-flat is from natural minor. So we start out Dorian, then we go to natural minor, and then finally, one more mode, which is a mode scale. It's a di we haven't talked about it yet but we have harmonic minor next. Now harmonic is just like natural minor, except it has a raised seventh. Here's D natural minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's D harmonic minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's up a half step from what you'd find in the natural minor scale. And we have this note right here in this chord at the end of the melody. Now that's a lot of information. If you're not very familiar with what D Dorian is and what D natural minor is and what D harmonic minor is, then that information might have passed by too quickly. But the main point I want to drive home is that this piece uses multiple modes together. So when you're more familiar with how the modes sound and you've learned each one individually, you can start mixing and matching them at different parts of a piece or even in one chord progression or one melody. And you can get some amazing results. That's part of why this piece sounds so beautiful is because the modes change and it surprises you in a very satisfying way. It's like the perfect balance of predictability in the melody and surprise. And I think that a lot of great melodies have that balance between predictability and surprise. They make you think you know what's coming and then they change it a little. And you're very satisfied at the end. So I hope you've been enjoying this series. I don't know when the next time I'm going to do a Zelda video is, but I do always take, you know, requests. I like to listen to requests, and every now and then if it, if it seems like something that would benefit enough people, you know, I'll, I'll definitely do uh, another video game's music if you really think it will help our learners here. Uh, but I'm really grateful for the feedback on this series, and I'm excited to show you what's coming next. <laughs>